I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we return to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to talk about how to do a sub report on your main report to display some information that may not be in the sequence or, or might be hard to do using a summary or something like that. And uh, you might want to have some custom information just put right in that one spot that you really want, and that's a great use case for using a sub report. So without further ado, let's get to our sub report in Microsoft Access. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so I'm going to start with a file that we've used many times before. And uh, I have two tables in here that you've seen the first one. You've seen this one before. Um, it just has some billable hour data for a fictional company with uh, some other, you know, the client name and, and some stuff like that in it. As you can see, this is uh, 400 and some rows uh, from 2019. And uh, in the second table that you have not seen before, um, I've got a simple, simple company table with some address and, uh, you know, address information and phone information in there. Um, completely uh, uh, simplified and uh, just for our example today. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, query uh, create and then query design and I'm going to close that pop-up and then I'll just drag the work hours table onto my query and I'm just going to choose a couple of uh, fields here. So I'll just grab the company and say the billable hours. So we'll make a really simple report um, I'm going to use the totals in my query here and I'm going to change the billable hours group by to sum and that's going to give me the sum of all the work hours uh, for that company. And so a uh, very simple example, I'll call my, uh, my query the work query uh, just so it fits with the filter that I've got going on the left side there. And now if I double click the work query, you can see Okay, there we go. There's our, you know, our list of companies with the sum of billable hours that they have had on their projects. And that takes care of our query that we're going to base our form on. So I'll go to create and then report wizard. And I'm just going to do a simple example here. I'll grab the uh, work query and it has those two fields in it that we just created. And I'm not going to add any grouping levels or anything. I guess I could sort it uh, by company name. And, uh, and then I'll go next. Now it is a tabular mixture. In this, well, at least in this case, we're going to use tabular for our report. So that basically makes us a, a list. And um, as opposed to, you know, a, an information heavy sort of columnar report. Um, this is just a simple list of, of basically what you saw in the query. And, uh, and if I go to design, you know, you could do uh, just like you would do normally. You could go and change the name of the fields and the labels, and you could clean it up and make it look really pretty. Um, and uh, so I'll change this one to total hours. And uh, we've got our company name in there. And uh, you could continue and do as much uh, modification as you wanted. But what we might want to look at in this report is, you know, maybe, you know, the boss said or, or there's a requirement for, hey, we, we need the company, but we also need the address of the company, uh, you know, stacked underneath of each line uh, so that we can call them about this, you know, total or whatever, you know, some fictional scenario. Um, and so I want to see... A columnar type report, so basically a stacked list, uh, or a, uh, you know, a stack of fields uh, underneath that have you know the address and the city and the postal code, et cetera, et cetera, or the or the uh, zip code, and so um, that's what I what I really need to see there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to create again, and in this case, uh, I'll use the wizard again um, just to give us a starting point. For our report and I'll choose the uh, work company table this time because it has all of the information that we want to see uh, on each line of our of our uh, list 
And so I don't really need the ID field and I don't need the company field because the company's already in there. Uh, but I will grab the address, you know, the city, the uh, state and zip and phone and, uh, and then I'll hit next. And uh, since we know that uh, there's only going to be, well, there might be more than one, but generally there would only be one address for each of the lines. Uh, I'll select that and then I'll go next and we're going to choose our columnar report this time which will be very simple um, and we'll call it say our uh, work company sub report um, just so that we can differentiate it in our list uh, below there and I'll I'll leave it on preview and I'll hit finish and so you can see this is what the report would look like if we just you know just ran it as a regular report um, not inside of a you know the main report it has a list of all of the addresses uh, and and we're going to take that and we're going to use this as a sub report and it's going to do some automatic filtering for us now for a sub report I'm going to go and just get rid of um, extra information at the top there because that's that stuff is not going to show when we use this as a sub report and uh, we've got our address, city, region, state, postal zip, and phone. And if I click in the gray area and I go to the record source, you can see that it's using just that table, the work company table, as the record source here. So I'll, I'll hit save and then uh, I'll go out and back to our design of our main report. And now I can just grab that uh, and I can drag it right onto my work report, uh, my main report there, and you'll see that it creates it inside of the sub report uh, window there, the, uh, because it creates a sub report object, and that object is linked to the uh, to to the uh, report. Um, so I can change the tag that was automatically created. I'll just say call it address, and then now to grab these, you generally you have to grab it using the little yellow line there um, if it's already selected and so I'll move that down below where the company is and then you know if I was to say uh, just go and see what we've got so far um, you can sort of uh, grab your print preview and you can see oh, that doesn't really look so great you know it's it's got this big line around it that was auto automatically created and it's also putting all the addresses uh, on the same line as the first company, which is not what we want to see. You see it has the first address, the second address, the third address in, in the address table, but it has not linked them yet to, that, um, to the row that, that it's on. And so that's something that we need to go do. But first, we're going to do a little bit of formatting because as you can see, see that side margin on the right? Um, that's when we first dropped our object on there and you really have to pay attention when you drop objects onto your form or your report that, uh, that they don't kick that, that side margin out. It's more important on, um, on reports because these are eventually going to go to printers and uh, you'll end up with you know, uh, funny output where you know, some gets put onto the second page um, you know there will be lines and things that go onto the second page and, but the page will be empty and things like that and so you want to make sure that you can you know bring that margin back over and and we know looking at the sub report so now I'm clicking inside the sub report underneath you can see that the it extends over that little white space there but it doesn't really need that space and so we're gonna that's caused by these two uh, you know page numbers that were added by the wizard so we'll remove those we'll get rid of that um, the uh, the end of the page there and uh, and then now we can move that margin over on the sub report which means we can make the sub report uh, container like the the object that's holding our sub report we can make it smaller too so now we can move that over and now we can correct our original margin on the right there so just be aware that when you do these things um, you need re, you really need to watch your the uh, the right side of the size of the report because we don't want it to go bigger than a, our, por our our portrait size so now if I look at it um, I open it and now we've got the line is gone 
because um, we did that in our format there in case you missed that. Um, but we still have the problem with all of the, you know, all the data showing up on every line. And so in order to get rid of that, we go to our, um, our data tab and we're going to put in how we're linking it. So in this case, I'm linking it by company. And you might want to click on the ellipsis there because you can also do this. You don't have to type it in. You can look at it here. You can choose company on one. So it means that I want to show uh, work company for each record in work query by using that company table. And you might use a company ID or something that, like that instead. In this case, we're just using the company name. And now if I go to print preview, you can see, okay, now I've got uh, on each line, uh, there's my total uh, and on the right side, and I've got the address, which is the correct address for each company uh, down below. And that's, that's really what we wanted to see. So you could go and you could change your headers and you know work on it and do things like that. Like you might bold this and make it bigger or something. Um, and you can work on re your report from there. Um, and that could be very handy for you know, making it look better. You could also change the size of the company field in the detail if you wanted, um, those kind of things. But the main thing is, is that if we go and we look at our report, you know, it has the data that we want. So if I go back to our print preview, you can see that it puts it all on one, you know, it's all on one page. And because we did the formatting, it's page one of one. There isn't anything, you know, going onto the second page because the margins are off. And you can see the totals are where we want them. The address is where we want it. And uh, that is how you can do a sub report in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do a sub report in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you see the bell, and if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.